Hello and welcome to the Daily Love Draw. This is the Chromecast at the Rising Moon and this is a timeless reading when we're in a collective. We all share the same energy. So we're checking the love and relationship energy around our collective today. What's the Daily Love Draw for our collective? Hey, before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel. If you like the reading, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to know every time I post a video, hit that post bell notification. And if you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. Hey, let's go. All right. Okay. We've got the two, we've got two major arcana on the scene right away. So they're big energies today. Now, sometimes with the chariot and relationship draws, it is a case of being pulled in two directions and needing to make a choice. It can be moving on from difficulties of the past as well, but it can be planning a vacation. It's a good card in business. It's a successful energy, but in relationships, it's a little bit of a kind of a, it's not necessarily a red flag, but it is calling your attention to making sure that if you currently have a partner or you're considering somebody, make sure you want the same things because with the chariot, this is, there's always one black and one white and they are usually facing in separate directions. So that is one of the calls to say, make sure you're on the same page with the person that you're interested in or if you are considering dating, make sure that your dating profile actually reflects what you want and need from a relationship. We have the five of swords in reverse, which is the end of kind of a time of conflict. It is releasing the difficulties and the battles of the past. I have the world in the upright, which is having it all. It's a successful cycle that has been completed. For some of you, you are uh, kind of leaving behind a healing time. Your choices are much healthier now. You have allowed yourself to deal with the anger from the past that may have been impeding your ability to have healthy and strong relationships. And then forgiveness just fell out. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Oh, interesting. For life is too precious to waste. You're creative. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay, I'd like to say a word on this. That is both true and not true. The way you create your reality with what you think, dream, and imagine about is how you feel about life. If you think everything is positive and I will meet the one and my relationships will reflect who I am, it changes your energy, it changes your mood, and it changes how you perceive things. But you are not actually manifesting a difficult reality if you are processing emotional pain. One of the problems within the spiritual community is they have a little bit of trouble differentiating between what creating your reality through your energy is and manifesting your inner reality in the outer world. Truly, we do not bring our difficulties upon ourselves. They are brought to us sometimes as challenges to help us learn and to grow. This particular draw says that you're moving on. You have forgiven the slights and the battles and the injuries of the past. You have completed a healing cycle and you're ready for all new and good successful things. The energy overall is a little bit of a call to be careful with your choices in your relationships, but it also says that you are going to be given a yes or no opportunity. For some, it means that someone is going to be approaching you. Make sure that you really vibe on the same level. Hey, if you just want to like hang out with somebody to, even if they're very different and want very different things, that is absolutely fine as well. Just make sure that you're going into situations with your eyes wide open. The world in the upright though, the card of having it all says that you will be offered some choices after you have achieved this, how to deal with the anger that comes from the injuries of the past because we need to have good conflict resolution skills in order to have happy relationships. It's not the sexiest thing, but it is a very, it's a very true thing. We have to be able to fight within relationships and then we get to make up and have fun. Uh, hand of cards, take a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand and gambling. Listen, at, particularly after healing, getting back out there, meeting new people, dating again, allowing yourself to be vulnerable to the possibility of falling in love seems like the biggest risk that you can possibly take. One of the areas to remember to forgive is forgive yourself for any missteps, any missteps that you've made in the past, because quite frankly, if you weren't surrounded by healthy, loving relationships, it's really hard to have them. So we all have these kind of stumbling block relationships, these test pancake relationships where we learn to make better choices, particularly in how we handle the conflict within our relationships. You've completed that. And if you're, if you're worried about getting back out there because you're afraid of repeating the past, this particular draw is saying, forgive yourself for what you didn't know. You know better now. Get back out there, test out your new skills. Be open and receptive to the energy of the choices that are coming towards you. 
you may still get the full picture no matter what stage of life that you are in. This is a loving energy in, in, around existing relationships as well. Even if you've had a conflict, it's coming to an end, there will be forgiveness. And you will actually be able to repair the damage into a whole shape with this world in the upright card. Okay, that was the daily love draw. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below.